Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Greetings, I'm Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke, hell yeah, here at Curto's, Westchester County. This is the place where we're staging the Grillvolution. Come join us. It's all good. Well, the reason we need to chat tonight about this is because Monday I was inspired. I cooked a, a smoke tist. That is a combination of smoking with the rotisserie, but this time I did it differently. I used it over the solid fuel insert, which is the alfresco way of cooking over a live fire. Smoke, fire, equals, yeah. Big smiles and happy, happy tummies. Um, so the thing though that we wanna focus on is that um, that's an incredible cooking technique, but I did it differently this time. And what I did, whereas yes, the solid fuel insert was, which was loaded with lump hardwood charcoal, that was creating the heat Okay, and there was no gas involved. I was only using gas to ignite the charcoal. But the thing that took it over the top was this. This, my friends, may look like a smoker box to you, or as Al Alfresco calls it, the uh, herb, the integrated herb infusion system. That's just great marketing. Um, I actually like to call it the house of smoke. And um, what this thing does, it actually, and this is what the video is gonna be about. It does a dance with the solid fuel insert. They work together. They work together to take your food over the top. So we're gonna talk about the dance that they do and why it just makes this whole system here incomparable. So let's get to it. I have a four pound Bell & Evans chicken. It's rubbed down with a coarse sea salt. Um, what else, black pepper my normal chicken rub, poultry rub, and on to the rotisserie it goes. Um, again, we did not cook with the gas burners. It went over the solid fuel, solid fuel insert, loaded with lump hardwood charcoal on, either, on, on both the back and the front, and in the middle we have the, drip pa uh, the roasting pans, which are acting as drip pans with root vegetables, coarse kosher salt, again, pepper, and olive oil. It caught the drippings of the bird and was out of this world but anyway so for one hour the bird was turning on the rotisserie again taking the heat from the lump hardwood charcoal no gas involved now the thing I wanted to do differently this time was that I wanted to bring a wood flavor to the equation but I didn't want to load the solid fuel insert up with wood because that combined with the lump hardwood charcoal I thought would get too hot and would potentially over smoke the food. I've done that before. I understand it was pilot error. So, you know, I'm not saying that the solid fuel insert can't handle lump coal and can wood simultaneously. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I'm just saying the way I've used it, it's become excessively smoked. So I said, how am I gonna bring a smoke flavor to this whilst using the solid fuel insert, okay? But do it separately. And that's where we broke into right here, into the house of smoke. The house of smoke got involved and just took it over the top. So what I did, I didn't load any herbs in this whatsoever. Okay, the chicken actually, by the way, had herbs inside it. It was stuffed with lemons and uh, whole garlic, okay? This bad boy over here, we put uh, apple wood chips in here. Yes, they were soaked, okay? Loaded it up like so and put it into the front loaded into the alfresco. And that's actually another beautiful thing about the design on this. It's a front loading box. None of this nonsense. You want to take a look at this one over here. This is, this is the competition, okay? It's thinner. Um, this doesn't front load, no. Hell no, this actually drops on top of the grates or it goes underneath the grates. So students, let's go think about that for a second here. Why don't we like that? Well, let's, let's put it this way. If you put their box or somebody else's box and it goes underneath the cooking grate and lies on the burner, then what's gonna happen in a half an hour or so into the cook? Um, 
when you run out of fuel and you have to reload the box. Well, what's going to happen is you need to take your grates off, take that out, reload it, put it back in, and oh, by the way, you took the grates off. I guess you had to move the food also. You're disturbing everything. We don't like to be disturbed when we grill or we smoke or we roast. We like to sit back with something very potent in our hands, and that's cold preferably, and enjoy life. We don't like disruptions, okay? So that doesn't work for me. So the fact that this is front-loading is phenomenal. It's great design, okay? And give kudos to DCS as well. They do it the same way. Um, it also has its own dedicated burner. I think it's a 5,000 BTU burner. It goes from high, it goes to low, so it is variable temperature. So that's a very nice thing as well. It gives you more control. And um, the, the really, really beautiful thing about this though is that by using the smoker in conjunction with the solid fuel insert, I had the best of both worlds because I had the heat. I had the heat and some smoke from that lump coal burning evenly, burning long, and adding some degree of flavor, okay, which gas can't do. But this guy down here, this was the accent piece. So that's what I'm talking about, folks. You have the ability to put these two pieces together, solid fuel and the house of smoke down here, and they act as accents to one another. This is really the accent piece, and because a solid fuel insert is really bringing it. But um, what this does is it allows, again, if you dial the temperature down low enough, wisps of smoke to delicately curl up and embrace your food, perfume your food. It doesn't smell overly smoked whatsoever. I mean, even by hanging out around the grill, usually my wife will come outside when I got the Kamado on and it's belching out acrid black smoke. She's like ready to call the, you know, the local fire department. My neighbors are ready to come over with a bat, you know, and it's, it's a lot. It could be excessive. I don't have that problem at all with this. And um, I mean, it's literally the food is perfumed with the use of the house of smoke because what you're doing is now you're smoking Okay, I mean, you're kind of smoking. You're not really smoking on a gas grill, but in any case, you're doing it with control. You're doing it so it doesn't get laden with just, you know, toxicity and just that heaviness that, 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 that an overly smoked piece of uh, food is going to deliver. We don't like that. So um, the House of Smoke certainly delivers it. It delivers precision and it delivers control and it dances along with the solid fuel insert to create something that is absolutely marvelous and so delicious. Um, I, I, I mean, look at the pictures. I mean, the Uh, that's it, jonathanacurtos.com. Please hit me up. Email me. Call me. Make appointments to come in. If you're living out on, remember, I don't care if you're living out on the coast, you're in the south, wherever you are, we do ship Alfresco nationwide. Hell yeah. And we're product experts. We stand behind what we sell and we take care of you. It's very important. So if you want one, you want information, call me. If you want to buy one, even better. Thank you, folks, for your time. We'll see you soon.